Today I'll be showing you how to overclock your BioStar G41-M7 motherboard. To begin the process, first turn on your computer and go into BIOS mode. Press delete to go into BIOS. Press review times. The first screen you'll see that the CPU is a Celeron E3300 clocked at 2.5 GHz. So after pressing delete, I got into the BIOS screen. We want to move over to performance tab, so we move the right arrow over a few times till we get to performance. And the settings that are interesting to us is the ratio CMOS setting set at 12.5. It's locked, so I can't go over there. And then the CPU frequency, C frequency setting set at 200. To calculate our overall clock speed, we take CPU frequency and multiply it by the ratio. So 200 times 12.5 gives us 2500 or 2.5 GHz. In this test, or in this demo here, I'll show you how my computer can run at 3.3 GHz just by changing the CPU frequency to 264. 264 times 12.5 is roughly 3300. So type in that number, press enter, and we're ready to move right to exit click enter to save and exit changes and click OK. Now it's going to reboot into Windows 7. So we started at 2.5 and we're overclocking to 3.3 gigahertz. Uh, luckily the this, this CPU is easily overclockable and I didn't have to buy an aftermarket cooler. In most cases you should buy an aftermarket cooler because doing an overclock that big will cause temperatures to increase. Um, so let's let this boot up and then I'll sh verify with the program CPU-Z that it is indeed running at 3.3 gigahertz clock speed. It'll take a while to boot. Again there are better ways of overclocking your computer this is just the fastest and easiest way I could do it, just by changing that frequency value in BIOS setting. So using CPU-Z, it's a free program, I can see what my computer is running at. You can't just right click on my computer and select properties, it won't tell you the right clock speed. Although, so over here we can see that it's running at right over here the core speed let me zoom in for that if I can it's running at roughly 3300 megahertz so that's it hopefully this will help other people to modify and overclock their computer just take it a little easy I've already done all the hard work